What is up? How's it going? I'm at home. I'm sick. I got COVID as it turns out, but I ain't gonna die. So I figured while I'm home and I'm not doing a ton of things that are productive, I would finally uh, put together a review video for you guys on uh, Browning Maxis 2. There she is in all her glory. So let's talk about the Browning Maxis real quick. If you guys are familiar with the Browning Maxis, the Browning Maxis 2 is the second version of the Browning Maxis. They made a few improvements. They put a magazine cap on, which the original Maxis didn't, so now you can attach extended magazine tubes. Uh, mine is in the Wicked Wing edition with the Bottomland camo, which I like quite a bit. Browning, as a company, is owned by FN Group, and so FN Group makes Winchester and Browning shotguns. That's why the Browning shotguns, or at least the Browning Maxis 2, has the same internal components or the same design of the internal components as a Winchester SX4. So this bolt release, the gas system inside, all of that uh, is basically the same. It's a little bit fancier. It's got like a chromium finish on it, some of that. But uh, the gas system itself is the same. And that's one of the reasons that I bought it. Um, I have an SX4. If you haven't seen that review video, you should go and check it out. I like how reliable it is. This gun, just as reliable. Regardless of uh, what shell I put in this, whether it's a uh, two and three quarter inch, seven and a half shot for shooting doves, or if I am, uh, for whatever reason, shooting some three and a half inch BB, which uh, doesn't happen very often, but can happen from time to time, it, uh, it chews it up and it spits it out. And it does a good job of that. There are a couple upgrades um, that you really pay for um, when it comes to the Browning Maxis compared to a more standard gun like even the Browning Silver or uh, the Winchester SX4. And uh, a couple of those features. So the first feature that I wanna mention is the uh, speed load feature. Say that you have an empty gun or you've just shot all three shells and uh, you wanna load one up real quick. You just slide one into the magazine and it will load it right into the uh, chamber for you. And then you can continue to load up, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and unload this so that it's empty. The second cool feature is Say that you just want to load it the old school way, put a shell in. It has a magazine tube lock, so I can lock that down. So basically what that does is say that you're out in the field and you're hunting ducks and a group of geese starts to come in, you want to switch out your three inch four shot for a three and a half inch BB. You can throw that magazine lock on, toss out that shell, put a bigger shell in, close the chamber and you still have the uh, the original shells in your magazine so it's kind of a uh, kind of a handy feature not one that I use a lot but it's cool to have another thing that I love about this gun is the ambidextrous safety option right so I have this I'm left-handed so I have this as a left-handed safety right now so it looks like to a normal right-handed shooter that my safety would be off currently but it's actually on um, and you can switch that back and forth which I like a lot. Another upgrade that comes on the Maxis 2 is what they call the lightning trigger. And I don't even know how to describe this other than to say that the trigger is very crisp. Apparently the uh, birds are having a party right up above me up here. Basically, you pull the trigger and it's just got this like very quick, crisp click. Um, there's no bogginess, there's no sogginess. The trigger doesn't move at all. Um, and that's one of the things that they try and mark it. It is hard to describe. You can you can actually feel it. Isn't really a problem that needed solving necessarily. I wouldn't say that I've ever noticed on shotguns that most triggers are really boggy. But shooting the Maxis 2, I have noticed that the trigger is nicer to pull. It is nicer to pull. And to be honest, I just, I really like this gun. It's a smooth shotgun. It looks nice. It looks cool. Um, there are a couple of cons though that I have. This comes down to fit and finish. Let's talk about that real quick. And it's mostly cosmetic, but it's something that I think is uh, worth mentioning. So as we look at my shotgun here, it's that nice pretty Cerakote with the uh, Mossy Oak Bottomland Wicked Wing. I've been 
criticized for being hard on my guns in a uh, past video. And I want to say that I have tried to treat this gun like a queen. And uh, look at this thing. So, cosmetically, the finish just does not hold up very well. I mean, if we're looking here, I mean, look at that. I've now had this gun for two seasons, and that is what I'm getting cosmetically, okay? Look at this Cerakote right here. Look at that, all worn off. That's not scratched off, okay? That's not because I'm rough on my gun. That's just worn off over time. Look at the edge of my uh, my bolt release handle here. Just wearing off, okay? I do have a scratch. I got that scratch on day two. Okay, the finish just, whatever Cerakote they use, it's just not the strongest. I mean, you can see this just rubbing off, okay? I don't understand that at all. But the finish just is not as strong as it should be. Uh, look. I mean... Just wear and tear stuff, but uh, I feel like it's coming off more than it should. I bought a really nice case for this gun to help protect it because I didn't want it to get beat up. When you spend a significant amount of money on a shotgun, you want it to last a long time. <clears throat> One of the things that I thought was super weird is look at how this butt stock is. See how that's like coming off? It's like hard here and then softer up here. And that definition line, that line is just wearing right off. Can you see that? And I'll have a picture when I was out hunting, all that where that line is bubbled up and got super weird. And uh, I don't even know how to describe it other than what you can see in the picture here. But uh, it got super weird and then I contacted Browning and uh, they said they had never seen anything like that and by the next hunt it was gone So I don't know what the deal is with that if you look at my trigger here if the triggers gold the birds were fold, right? Well my trigger See if I can focus that up the gold is wearing off my trigger two years. I've been shooting this shotgun and The uh, the gold finish is wearing off you can see that there. It's turning to like a nice it's hard to focus it in on there. To a nice silver. So the finish even on my trigger is wearing off, which I think is just crazy. So if I really had one gripe about this shotgun, the finish is just, it's just not as good as it should be when you're spending two grand on a shotgun. I mean, it has been two years, so I expect some wear and tear, but uh, to have things like this, I think that's wild. That finish should not come off just from being in a case or being worn on my shoulder, right? And if you disagree, let me know in the comments. <laughs> and maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I feel like that finish should not be coming off that easily, especially for it being a special Cerakoted version of the gun. So just a quick recap. I like how reliable it is. I like that it's made with the same guts as the uh, Winchester SX4. I like that uh, it's a gas gun because no matter what I put into it, uh, it chews it up, it spits it out, and it does a great job of it. It's been reliable. I've now shot ducks, geese. I shot two sheep uh, with this thing in a close range hunt. Moflon sheep. I've shot turkeys. I've shot doves. The only thing I haven't really shot is uh, big game at this point. So it's been my go-to shotgun now, and uh, I do really, really like it. Just my only complaint is just the finish. I feel like the finish should last longer and be a better finish especially if you're paying over two grand for a shotgun which it is now thanks to biden and our wonderful inflation the cost of these shotguns has gone up and so if you're going to spend that much money i feel like the finish on the uh on the gun should last a little bit longer i really appreciate you guys watching this video thank you guys so much if you are not subscribed i would ask that you please subscribe to my channel uh, i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year if I can, uh, this is just a little hobby channel that I do for fun, but it's been great and I appreciate your guys' support. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. Thank you again. <laughs>